Oh, you into fitness? Wrong place, right guy. I'm Scully, and this is the SoFly Zone. Everything you see here has been shot, edited, and uploaded from my phone so you can see what it's like day by day for an aspiring fitness model. So, let's go. to mention I got a new phone well not a new phone I got the replacement so things are back to normal life is good just finished eating dinner was epic almost hit that truck just now <laughs> but uh yeah this is much more comfortable than holding up a big ass iPad and trying to drive around so uh my family loves it here. About to head back to the apartment. So and uh make sure your car is along for the ride. Mobile supermotor oil is formulated. And uh you know, find some reason to talk to y'all or do something. I need to set up my meals for tomorrow. And I've been working late at work this week. Well not today, I had to leave early to go pick up my phone. So I gotta I gotta figure out whether I'm going to do my sprints right after work. And then go, or I might just do my sprints this weekend instead. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But anyway, checking with y'all later. Alright, guys. Reefy days coming to an end. Had lots of good food. Sushi was great. Uh, I think I said that already. But I got good news for y'all. I had good news for me. I got my phone back. And the world is normal again. Um, but I also finished making that tracker... Excel sheet for the year. So the way what, I didn't want to give y'all what I made before because I just had just made it just for my contest prep. So it stopped in August. So what I did was I made it for all of 2013 and then all of 2014. And I even made it like since it was just for me, I didn't really care that it had the little error message. Whenever you take an average and it's dividing by zero, it, Excel puts a little error thing in there like the pound sign and div slash zero. Explanation point, factorial, whatever. Um, so I put a little if-then statement in there so that when that comes up, it'll just be a dash instead. So it just looks cleaner for y'all because, you know, I'm all about presentation. So here we go. So like I said, got the whole thing. In case you've been tracking your weight and you have, you know, stuff already, you can go and plug in your old stuff. Or you can start with... You know, uh, today or whatever, whenever you download it, if you download it. So let's say, what's today? Today is the 14th, so you're probably doing this on the 15th. And let's say your weight is, I think tomorrow I'm going to wake up at like 189 after a refeed, right? So then all these other numbers jump up, right? Because it's already doing stuff. So this number right here takes the average of the seven day averages from three before the day of and three after right so that's why you see 189 everywhere blah 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 this one is the previous 28 days averaged so basically this seven day average this seven day average this one and this one this is just you know this average with the seven before it right and that's it uh this is i don't really like these two are pretty useful, right? But this one is just because I, at the time, I didn't know what to put. So you could probably like, you could probably zero all those out and use that for like to track your waist or something. Some other, because that's a number that you know, like say you have a lot to drink or something before you go to sleep, or 
it just throws off your weight and you measure your waist and it's still the same size. Or, what the? You would measure your waist and it's still the same size. You can know, okay, this is kind of a faulty number. I don't have to really pay attention to it. So anyway, yeah, so you know, you start plugging stuff in. On Friday, I usually wake up a lot lighter because I have my uh, sprints. So let's say I work up like 186, and then you'll see how the average of the two days is 187.5. Usually drop a little bit more on Saturday. 87.6, and you know, so same thing, keeps on going, let's say I go to 184, that's not really typical. Monday, I usually go up a little bit because I'm off on Sunday, say 4.5, you know, we'll go down, I'm just putting numbers in, Wednesday, 182, this is not what normally happens, then I jump up again because it's a refeed, 26, 184. Four, and let's say I'm like 183 here. So then you can have your, you'll see, oh snap, uh, I'm losing way too fast. I need to bump my carbs up, or I need to bump my overall calories up. Uh, you can see how you're trending. Started off at 187, your weight was probably around this 187.3 for real when you had this refeed, and how it was trending down. So, I mean, it's pretty useful. If y'all find it useful that's great I'm gonna I guess tomorrow when I go to work I'll upload it to Dropbox so when you see the video it probably won't be available just yet but check the description I'll put that in there afterwards after I upload it to people keep on saying put it on drop, Dropbox and maybe I'll put it in a couple of different locations I got a Google SkyDrive I'll put it on there I think you can download it from there and then um, I'll also I have a Dropbox account so I'll um, put it there too. But, uh, yeah, uh, y'all yeah, been asking for that. And I'm also gonna be, my friend Conrad is gonna be helping me shoot a video. I'm gonna kind of try to make a commercial for P3, uh, you know, for HPN because they've been helping me out. And there's stuff in R, I don't know, like, it's supposed to have, like, effects on your metabolism, whatever. It's not, definitely not affecting my weight. But I'm looking drier, if that's the word, at higher weights than I was before. So I don't know if I'm, I don't know if that's, I'm going to contribute it to the NR because, I mean, it wasn't doing that before. And I'm, I don't, I'm, I can't say that, you know, I'm burning less fat, but whatever it's doing, it's I only, I really noticed the effect after I work out. So all that tells me is I definitely want that when I go up to Pittsburgh to compete because I'm going to take it that morning and then when it's time to get a pump, hopefully I'll look great like I have. Like, you should, tomorrow after my workout, I'll try to, uh, that's an arm workout, it's not going to really, uh, well this weekend, oh, I'm definitely going to take it before my, before we do the commercial and when I'm getting a pump and all that stuff, so you'll see then. And also, I'm going to try to, I might as well get him to help me shoot the My Fitness Pal tip video for OU in the Fitness, and I'm gonna be showing them how I do with my profiles and you know all that stuff. So this video is running long enough. Sorry for the long clip. Check in with y'all tomorrow.